Um, my remarks will take about three to four minutes. I was asking unanimous consent to have three to four minutes on such an important subject. Uh, without objection. I call up Paul Amendment uh, number one. For years now, nonpartisan scientists have been sounding the alarm about the proliferation of gain-of-function research that can potentially create super viruses with pandemic potential. Gain-of-function research occurs when a virus is manipulated in the lab to increase the strength of its contagiousness, literally causing it to gain a function. The supposed value of this type of research is design countermeasures by modeling how viruses might mutate in the future. Although we do know that there is no historical precedent for any of this research leading to a vaccine in advance of knowing the pathogen. So while there's a hypothetical potential gain for doing this, we know of no real life, real world example of creating these super viruses that has actually led to a vaccine. We also know that now that we have mRNA technology, the speed with which we can make an mRNA vaccine, once we know the pathogen, can be done in literally days. Now that we've done it, really literally within days, we can create a vaccine. Because nature is random, if we are going to say, oh, we're gonna create potential vaccines for what random mutation might come out, we would have to randomly guess the one in a million combination that comes from nature and sort of create uh, vaccines in advance. The danger is this, when you mix and match these viruses, there's a possibility you come up with a combination so contagious or so dangerous that you end up with a virus that is 10, 20% lethal and is devastating to mankind. The Biden administration yesterday said they're not gonna fund Wuhan, but they didn't say they're not going to fund gain-of-function research. Gain-of-function research has been funded in China now for over a decade. It was largely supported by Anthony Fauci and other supporters of gain-of-function research, but it went through our universities, it went to military research. There's a group called the American the Academy of Military Medical Research in China that's been on our intelligence uh, community's watch list for a decade, we funded them. Went through UC Davis, went through UC Berkeley. All this happened. So while it's comforting to know that the Biden administration yesterday said they're not gonna send it to the Wuhan Institute of Virology, that doesn't limit it from all the other entities in Wuhan that have gotten it, Wuhan University, Wuhan Agricultural University, Beijing, all of these different entities aren't limited by what the Biden administration did, and what the Biden administration is proposing to do is only limited by any administration changing their mind over this. So my amendment, we voted on in Congress about a year ago, and it passed unanimously in the Senate. We attached it to the China subsidy bill, and uh, the sub CHIP subsidy bill, and then it was stripped out in the House, and it never became law. So this is an amendment that we'll vote on in a few minutes, or whenever we get to amendments, that passed unanimously. There was no Republican dissent, there was no Democrat dissent, and I hope we can do the same today. Um, one expert, Kevin Esfeld of MIT, a developer of the CRISPR te gene technology, uh, wrote in the Washington Post that to discover many dangerous viruses or to learn to enhance weaker ones is to share the blueprints for an arsenal of plagues. I agree with him. In my opinion, it's nothing less than a death wish for the world. He talks about it being catastrophic and potentially civilization changing. So this is something that I think we should all come together on and something that I think is incredibly important. If we were to learn any lesson from this, that even if there is a chance that this came from a lab, even if you believe there's any chance this came from a lab, we should not be funding this, particularly in a totalitarian country. And I hope we'll get a, a unanimous support from the committee.